What up, everybody? When we first met Jukebox and OG Power, it was never said, but at the same time, it was also somewhat suggested that Jukebox was addicted to lean. After a pharmacy robbery gone wrong, Jukebox brought home several bottles that she took from the store, as well as the videotape that showed what really went down. Jukebox always had the lean with her also when she would make her trips to New York, using it as a way to control Tariq. She also used lean to control Kanan in D.C., getting him hooked in the process, and most likely, she would control her girlfriend Candy with it also. Either though Candy had a job as a nurse, and that's how she met Jukebox. So Candy might have actually had the link connect through her job. But it's obvious that by the time we meet Jukebox in power, that she was a cold-blooded killer with no heart, like Kanan said. When Ghost mentioned the name Jukebox, when he figured out who had Tariq, he definitely looked shook. Like he knew that Juke was capable of killing a kid. Then when Ghost told Tommy what happened, he told Tommy, Do you remember Jukebox? And Tommy Egan's reply, out of all people, was yeah, that crazy. Now for Tommy Egan to think that someone is actually crazy is saying something big. Because Tommy himself is one of the craziest power characters. And he was also raised by Kate Egan. So for Tommy to call Juke crazy has to mean that she was out there, out there. And we already see she's a little crazy. But what causes Tommy to turn up to another level? What caused Jannar to turn up to another level of crazy on force? That's when they start doing drugs and get out of their sound mind. Then they start turning up to another level of crazy. So with that said, it's also a good possibility that drug and alcohol abuse had an influence over Jukebox's behavior. It might have been part of the reason why everybody thought she was so crazy. Keep in mind what Dre said to Tariq when Tariq went out looking to kill Ray Ray to avenge Raina's death. Dre looked at Tariq and said, Reek, are you on that lean again? And Tariq replied, yep. And I might just be high enough to shoot you in broad daylight if you don't tell me where Ray Ray is. So even Dreek and Lean calls Tariq to turn up to where Dre gave him the address, either though Dre had his own motives for letting Tariq kill Ray Ray also. Then keep in mind that drug and alcohol abuse is common in the Thomas family as well. We don't know to the extent of what Joyce and E-Train were doing, but we can assume E-Train was at the very least an alcoholic because Joyce told Lou his father spent too much time in places like this, talking about Lou's bar. But it's also possible and even likely that they were also drug addicts at one point. Season 1, Marvin told Rock that he practically raised Rock and Lou while Mom and Pops were on there. Most likely talking about how they were on drugs. We also know that Marvin was using his own product when he was younger before getting busted and getting cleaned up in prison. And we see what Lou is going through battling alcohol this season. But at the same time, there's a lot of people who drink alcohol or lean or even do cocaine who can still function normally in society and work a normal job without anyone really even knowing they have a problem. And this will most likely be jukebox. The drugs will have an influence in her becoming more cold hearted, but she won't lose control over herself and fall apart like what we see what's going on with Lulu. Get me to what pushes jukebox into using drugs in the first place. Season 3 Race in Canaan, we can see that Jukebox has put herself in a conflict between being a part of the singing group Butter or joining the military. After Detective Burke was killed by Howard, Jukebox watched some of Burke's memorial from afar before being disgusted, leaving, and going to talk to an army recruit about enlisting so she could get out of Queens. But the same day when she went home, Mr. Bingham was waiting at the house with Marvin with an opportunity for Jukebox to audition for a new girl group. Either though she was hesitant at first, Juke auditioned and made the group. So then Juke was in the group, doing rehearsals and everything for the group. But at the same time, she was still going through everything for the army, taking the physical and the written test. Now keep in mind how the nurse asked Juke if she was active. Because you can't join the military if you're pregnant. Then Jukebox continued stepping up in the group to the point where she became the leader of the group, Butter. So it was at this time, Juke decided Butter was the move and not the military. And went to talk to the man about backing out. But the recruit went on to tell her that she's already made a commitment to her country. And that the armed forces take commitments very seriously. 
basically telling Jukebox that she really don't have another choice but to join at this point. Get me to episode 9 where Butter will have its first live performance. I think she said it was at the mall. I think after this performance, Butter is going to blow up and probably get signed. Forcing Jukebox to go to desperate measures to avoid joining the military. Get me back to the nurse telling Jukebox that she can't join the military pregnant. But we know Jukebox isn't going to have any kids. So she won't get pregnant to avoid the military. But just like you can't be pregnant when joining the military, you can't be on drugs when joining the military either. And they give you a drug test before going to boot camp. And because of this, I think Jukebox may start snorting powder to avoid going to the military. Then that will be when we see Jukebox really turning up and becoming the Juke we know from OG Power. Keep in mind Season 1, Jukebox was also robbing and boosting, but quit because of her girlfriend Nicole. When Jukebox gets on the powder, I think that will be when she starts back robbing. Because we know one thing about Jukebox from Power is that she was all about hitting robberies and heists every chance she got. But at the same time, I still think the girl group Butter will be a success. But also have a lot of drama around it at the same time. Keep in mind that I mentioned before that I believe Butter is loosely based off TLC. With Juke being loosely based off Left Eye. Now I don't know this for sure because I didn't know her personally. But it's been reported that Left Eye did also have to do a couple stints in rehab throughout her career. It was also reported that she once burnt down her husband, NFL player Andre Risen's mansion. So best believe Jukebox is going to do some wild stuff to earn Tommy Egan calling her a crazy. And the reason why Butter will be successful but Juke still has to eventually become a cop is because Nakaya will sign them up for a bad contract with the label where she gets all the money, owns all the rights to the masters, while the girls just get pennies on the dollar. Keep in mind that Juke doesn't even become a cop for another 13 years. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.